Hi, I'm Neil Snyder. Welcome to another Snyder Talk video commentary. This is part three, and you'll recall in part two, I talked about a verse in Exodus that uh, talked about Yahweh uh, having compassion on whom he will have compassion. And it's Exodus 33, 19. I want to read that verse to you again and talk about it because it's caused a lot of uh, concern for a lot of people. Here it is. It's Exodus 33, 19. And Yahweh said, I myself will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim the name of Yahweh before you. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. Now, the thing about that verse that has caused so many problems for a lot of people is it makes Yahweh look capricious because he says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. Well, it would be capricious if Yahweh hadn't told us very clearly the people upon whom he will show mercy and have compassion. And in a nutshell, it boils down to this. Yahweh is going to show mercy and have compassion on people who have faith in him. Now, that's very clear. For example, if you look at Joel chapter 2, if you're reading a Tanakh, it's Joel chapter 3. It says, everyone who calls on the name of Yahweh will be saved. If you look at Acts chapter 2, Peter says, everyone who calls on the name of Yahweh will be saved. He's quoting Joel. He actually says he's quoting Joel. Paul quotes Joel in chapter 10 of Romans too. He says, everyone who calls on the name of Yahweh will be saved. Paul didn't give us Joel's name. Peter did. It's interesting because in Acts chapter 4, Peter went even further than that. He says, there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. That name is Yahweh. So here's what it boils down to. Yahweh is going to have mercy on and show compassion to people who have faith in him. If you read the book of Exodus, you'll see that they ran into problems with Yahweh because they didn't have faith in him. In fact, in Ezekiel, Yahweh talks about that. If you read the Psalms, the Psalms are loaded with information about faith and how important it is. So don't think for one second that Yahweh is a capricious God. He's not. He will accept anyone who comes to him in faith. And how do we know it? Because he said he would, and Yahweh does not lie. He will have mercy on and show compassion to people who have faith in him. That's what he said, and that's what he means. I urge you to read the manuscript, His Name is Yahweh. You can download it for free at hisnameisyahweh.org, or you can get it in Kindle format from Amazon for just $5. You can also get it at snydertalk.com. It's in a page in the column on the right, and the title of the page is His Name is Yahweh, the manuscript in PDF format. If you're not reading Snyder Talk, you ought to. It's updated every day with important information from around the world, but it specializes and focuses on things that are happening in Israel. Of course, there are a lot of uh, opinion pieces. Some of the uh, most uh, famous writers in the world are covered every day in SnyderTalk.com. I urge you to take a look at it. Again, I want to conclude by just telling you one more time, we do not serve a capricious God. Yahweh is true to his word. He will have mercy and compassion on people who have faith in him. That's what he said, and that's what he means. We can take him at his word. Thank you very much for joining me for another Snyder Talk video commentary. I look forward to seeing you again soon.